Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the McNamara chi-square statistic in SPSS. Uh, this statistic is appropriate for repeated measures designs where you have nominal data or dichotomously scored data specifically. Uh, it's the equivalent of Pearson chi-square, but for the within subjects or repeated measures design. In this case, I've simulated data to correspond to the results of a previous study that was uh, published in 2001, uh, where the researchers were interested in understanding um, in, uh, babies or children at the age of one, uh, the percentage who um, cry and need to be soothed uh, during the night, uh, and then they re-examined these same children at age three. And they had a bunch of hypotheses, uh, and, but for this uh, test, uh, I'm going to test the hypothesis, which is what McNamara can test, is, is the percentage of signalers the same at age one as it is at age three? Presumably, as children get older, they can sleep through the whole night without uh, crying and without needing to be soothed. So presumably, the percentage of signalers or criers is going to reduce from age one to age three. And that's what the uh, McNamara chi-square statistic can test. So before I do that, I'll, I'll show you something really simple to look at the frequencies and the percentages and uh, to see the key percentages that uh, we're hoping to see some differences or we hypothesize to see some differences. So we can see here that um, the percentage of children at age one, signalers at age one, uh, is 51.5. So roughly half of children uh, cry during the night uh, they measured this across two days in a row, uh, and 51% were found to be uh, signalers. And then when you move to age three, it drops to 33%. The percentage of signalers was determined to be 33%. So McNamara chi-square statistic can test the hypothesis is the difference, which is about 18%, 51.5 minus 33.3, I think is 18.2. So is that difference of 18% uh, the reduction from 51.5 to 33.3 is that reduction statistically significant? And that's what the McNamara chi-square statistic can tell us. The Pearson chi-square statistic is not appropriate for this analysis. I'm going to analyze descriptors cross tabs. So you're using the same uh, menu-driven option, but uh, you're choosing one important difference. And I just threw in each variable, row and column. It doesn't matter where you put which one. Uh, you get the same result. You go into statistics, and then you have to click this option here, McNamara chi-square. And I'll also, uh, actually, I'll continue from there, and we'll get the percentages as well. We'll get the row percentages and column percentages. Although we just looked at that in frequencies, I just want to show the correspondence. Okay, so the key statistics are 51.5 versus 33.3. You could alternatively say 48.5 versus 66.7. It's the same, it's just the opposite of the same hypothesis. So here we have our percentages. Uh, we have the frequencies and percentages. And in the row and columns, we have 51.5 versus 